In this video, I'll walk you through the tools you need to work with the ML code in the repo associated with this video series. To get you started quickly, we've selected the most basic set of tools that require the least configuration. As you gain more experience, you'll develop your own preferences for tools and workflow. You have two options to get started. You can use the GitHub code spaces, or you can install the tools directly on your local machine. With GitHub code spaces, you can quickly spin up a remote development container with all the tools you need by clicking on the code button, opening the code spaces tab, and clicking the button to create the container. This container runs VS Code directly inside GitHub and is pre-configured with everything you need, such as Python. If you have a GitHub account, you'll have free access to 60 hours of code spaces per month. You can learn more at github.com slash features slash codespaces. If you want to use your development machine, then you'll need to install all the tools by following the rest of the steps in this video. Python is the most popular programming language for machine learning, so we'll be using it for all the code in these videos. Depending on the operating system you use, you may already have Python installed. But even if you do, it's a good idea to update it before you get started. If you're using Windows, keep in mind that Python does not come installed by default. If you don't already have it installed, the easiest way is to get it from the Windows Store. You can simply run Python 3 on your terminal, and the Windows Store will load and take you to Python. If you already have Python installed, there may be a newer version available. And if so, it's a good idea to update it at this point. If you're using a Mac, you may or may not have Python installed by default. If you don't have it, macOS will give you the option to install it from the command line when you run the command python3 minus minus version. If you have an older version installed, make sure to check the macOS software update tool for newer versions of the command line tools. If you're a Homebrew user on macOS, you can use it to install Python. Search the Homebrew site for the latest version and the install command. If you're using Linux, running Python 3 minus minus version will most likely tell you that Python is already pre-installed, depending on your version of Linux. If you don't have it installed or have an older version, you can install or upgrade it using apt. If you haven't used Python before and want an introduction to the language, check out our Python for Beginners video series at aka.ms slash Python for Beginners. We'll be using Jupyter Notebooks to do our work in this series. A Jupyter Notebook is a coding environment that can contain a mixture of text, code, and visualizations. It's a great tool to use while you're experimenting because it enables us to execute portions of our code and see the output of that execution right away. A great way to run notebooks is through Visual Studio Code, also known as VS Code, which is a popular free code editor. VS Code can be configured with extensions that expand its functionality, as we'll see soon. To install VS Code, head to code.visualstudio.com and download the version for your OS. Next, you'll need to install the Python extension to VS Code, which will give you better support for the Python programming language, including Jupyter Notebooks. From the Extensions view in the Activity bar, search for Python. Then install the extension pack. Depending on your operating system, you may need to install Git. We'll need it to clone the repository where the Jupyter Notebooks we'll be using in the video series. If you're using macOS or Linux, this should be pre-installed. If you're using Windows, you'll need to install it from gitforwindows.org. Your machine should now be ready to follow along with the series. In the next video, we'll look at progression, and we'll get ready to start writing and running some machine learning code. I'll see you there.